Hello. In this video, we're going to look how to create a YouTube thumbnail by using Fodor. We're using Fodor Pro version for this. So right here, for example, if we're going to use it and it is uh, one, um, you can see the right size on the below 1028 by 720. Sometimes you want to use maybe HD 1920 by 1080. But again, this is what they recommend to use it for YouTube channels. So you'll have a good quality on the size. What we're going to do is just click on the thumbnails and it will open for us. So right here, you can see we already have it a lot of predefined so you can find one that is jump and that's work for you and you can use it as template just to go in and modify or what we're going to do create one from scratch also notice we have a different type of the stickers that we can use it and stickers is nice because we can add and put it over we also have a different type of the text backgrounds as we need to put it and very important we also have access to the cloud so this is example it is a photo or a cloud which allowed you used with pro um, level but it's not necessary you can use it this cloud you also can open and download it directly from your computer Dropbook, Dropbox or Facebook so if you for example you have it photos you snapshot and you try to share on a Facebook you can go ahead and use this as well beside all of this you can also going and import your images and that's what I'm going to do just import my image from the computer it's simulating if you have it your mobile devices that you will have it on your some folders where you took the photos okay so when you click in import and you can see right here it's finished importing my image it is my face with a fighting with a dead bear yes i know it's a russian things to do we always like to fight with the bears it's in our blood and nature okay so right here i can place it my thumbnail and notice when i placed my thumbnail i can rotate scale it's what i did right now i just scale to fill up all of the youtube and from my experience for example if i like to do videos i want to be sure the face of the human face is there it's more attractable it's have a kind of like marketing things but next i want to do also text uh, overall we have a video when we overview some of the positioning and you can see on we have a clone rotate we have a transparency set layers and all additional properties that we can modify but right now i just want to create the image right here so my text will go on a side i want to probably create right here the box where the text is going to locate it and for this, we'll just go inside the stickers and you can see we have it all this different shape. Nice things about this that I can take my image shape and just apply directly to shape the image I wanted. Then we may do this. But what I'm going to look, it's this basic, basic shapes. We go open one and let's go just select one and drag and drop positioning. Same, we can go to go ahead and scale a little bit. I'll put right here, scale a little bit and down maybe like right there and of course we can play more i'm just looking for some negative space where i have it to place my text okay that is look good um however i'm not necessarily like with this color so we'll go click on a color we have it predefined but i'm going to select from the palette and i'm going to just select the orange so we'll go brighter saturation and probably around this color Okay, so right here, I created my cover area. Um, if you want it, we can also create a little bit shadowing around this and it's maybe look good. So I'll go create another square drop in. And we'll go to stretch just a little bit bigger. Okay, but here's my problem. It is cover my other ones. So we'll go inside the layers and we'll go to move down now it's below it's what i wanted okay i can now reposition and i just so i have a little bit teeny tiny frame just going around my image it look a little bit more interesting again if i want to create shadows on this we can go select and we'll take go to with transparency and just make a little bit maybe about 80 percent transparency so we can see something behind this Okay, let's go ahead and next we'll go create text we'll go on a text and add a highlight so it's what i'm going to do drag and drop okay right here we'll just double time click to open and 
We'll just start typing in what we want to say. Okay, be sure it's spelled correctly. And what we call dangerous life to be photographer. Okay, you can see how it start kind of maybe don't fit properly or we want to play. So I think maybe what we need to be take this one out and notice all your shortcuts as work. So we can do control X, control V. So I'll increase this size, put it right here. Let's take another one. Oops, I don't want this one. Delete key will work as well. And we'll just pass another one. Okay, I think this is kind of what I wanted. We can increase size. Let's go right here. Dangerous life. Let's, you know what, highlight. And I'm not sure if I like this font. So we can go drop down and they prefer quite a bit fonts available in the library. So we can preview. You know what, maybe kind of like this. Yeah, that probably will work. Let's go increase our size. Yeah, 144. Yep, yeah, I think that will work good. And maybe instead the black, actually, I want to use it white color. So, okay, we'll set on this, we'll put it just a little bit out. I want like almost this image, the jumping out. Okay, let's go see if we want, nope, ball does not look good. So we can actually play a little bit more around with the text, see which one, how it will work. If we like it, uh, maybe like right here. So what I want to do, I want this text jumping out of the, my frame. And this is more as a designing kind of effect. The reason is, you know, I want to represent the dangers that is jumping sometimes. And of course, the bare skin and all that stuff, you know, it's very dangerous, as we know. Okay, let me go ahead, resize just a little bit smaller. Like right there, we'll take now our black and let's go to bring a little bit up here. And we'll just bring Just a little bit of framing almost. You can see how we can play very easy to creating all different titles. Okay, on this text, you can notice we don't necessarily have um, drop and it's getting lost, I think, on the back. So what I'm going to do, it is control. No, we don't need it. Copy paste on this. So I want to actually duplicate this. And duplicate right here, we have a clone effect. So let me go ahead, back switch again from me um, undoing some stuff. You know what? Maybe I don't even like that font. So let me play. Now that one is does not look good. Yeah, we'll go back to our digital. Okay, and actually I will leave it black. We'll go to clone. Okay, let's put it clone just a little bit above and we'll switch this to our white color. It's what we had before. Right here. So now we have it almost like dropping shadows. And now we need to figure out. So normally what I do with shadows, I look on the lights where it's coming from. And it's actually coming, I think, from the top right corner. So we'll go like right here maybe. A bit more as a jumping. Yeah, I think that looked good. Okay, so about right here. And um, to be a photographer, you know, maybe this one will switch. Let's see what font we have as well. It's kind of one thing what I found it is um, too many fonts sometimes. You know, they all look very nice and hard to select. Nope, wrong one. So let's go see, find one. Now too much railway, probably just like this, but it's hard to read. Usually what I do it is you can step out and see how easy or hard it will be reading this font. No, bold. Probably, you know, a little bit bold like this. 
Okay. So I think this is kind of look somewhat interesting. Let's see what else we can, how else we can spice out. So bring this a little bit out. We have a background. Currently, we don't need to use it because our image is our background. However, we could create one with just background. And maybe what we're going to do with next is just create a Facebook cover just with the elements what we have here. Okay, let's go look more on the stickers. And the problem is you can spend hours and hours just to go over these patterns. Okay, let's go ahead and look on the numbers. What do we have it? So we have the automatic shapes. We're fine with this. We don't want it. Letters. That is could be fun actually with the names. Okay, and we'll also have a basic shapes, wireframes, arrows. So we could actually for fun just take maybe some arrow. Let's go place it right here. Okay, let's go change arrow color to our orange. Nice which one we had before. If you notice right here on the theme colors, we already preset one that we're using. So I'll just put it arrow. And you know what? Let's go to take this layer, move a little bit down and move down again. So in this case, it will be just behind our letters. Uh, maybe a little bit more because the shadows, there you go, now it's behind our shadows. Okay, just in case you remove it. But I think this way it's kind of add a little bit more interesting effect to our shapes as we want it. We also could just take it, uh, for example, this shape if we want it, place it right here. Let's go to scale just to cover our orange one. Okay, somewhere out of there. And we'll change this color to the orange. And again, let's go to our layer. It will move down, move down, and move down more. Oops. I don't want to move this one too much. So just right here. Okay, there you go. This is ours. And I just want to move around here select and position maybe around there there you go so right here you can see we created our interesting looking thumbnail so that we can modify of course with our image you can adjust more if you need it you can go ahead and um, rotate resize and now when we're done we actually want to save it so on the top we can share this directly but what we're going to do is just save for now. And as we're going to save, we needed to see which quality we wanted. Here's things. Um, if you can on a size PNG have it compressionless, so it will be nice with transparent background. But for the YouTube, I found out JPEG will work just fine. And we want to save in high format quality. So let's go ahead. It's a So thumbnail, I don't want to make as a public, so I just want to save it. And let's go ahead and click download. And it's generating my work from cloud and allowed me to download directly to my computer. So, and that is all. So when you're done, you can save it, your file. When you're done, it's how easy to create thumbnails. Of course, it will take much faster for you because you don't need to explain when you do by yourself. But on this case, you can see how with the libraries and everything, you don't actually need the Photoshop or install application on your computer. You can easy just go to um, Fedora, an account, sign up and start using. Again, one thing I need to let you know that I was using the pro version, which is a, a purchased version of the application. And you can trial, you can start trial free versions, which is have some limitations, of course. But overall, it's very nice, very interesting tool. And I think it's worth for the people who um, on a field who are traveling around and need to create very fast thumbnails for the YouTube videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel or give thumbs up for the video. If you don't like it, just post it comments. I will be happy to reply and help you if you have any questions.